Hi, it's Randy with Sensor One. Today I'm going to walk you through the setup process for the 1 through 16 row population monitor. When you turn on the monitor, you will see two numbers flash. The first number is the program version, and the second number is the serial number. The enter button will be the most important button throughout the setup process for this monitor. You cannot save or proceed to the next step without pressing enter. When the monitor is ready to be set up, the light will remain on over row number one. Press the setup button to enter the setup mode. From here, you will use the arrow keys to determine the number of sensors you want to use. Then press enter. The light number two will come on. Use the arrow keys to determine the number of rows you want to monitor. Then press enter. The light will appear over row number three now. Use the arrow keys again to determine row spacing. Row spacing is determined by inches. Press enter. Now the light over row number four will come on. This is where you can set up your high population limit. Using the arrow keys and then press enter to move on. Lights over rows one and four will come on for you to set your low population limit. Again, use the arrow keys to adjust and press enter. Lights number two and four will come on and this is where you can set up a percentage for population gain. The default setting is zero and most do not change the setting. To move on to the next step, press enter. When lights three and four are on, prepare to set your speed constant. A 200 foot distance is required for this step. Press the up arrow key as you pass your first marker and then the down arrow key when you pass your second marker. Press enter to save and proceed to the next step. Now lights one, three, and four will be on. This step will allow you to adjust your speed constant by using the arrow keys. Lights two, three, and four should now be on and this step is for preference only. Use the arrow keys to select how bright or how dim you want your lights on the monitor. One is the most dim and 10 will be the brightest. Remember to press enter to move on. The last and final step, lights one, two, three, and four should all be on. This setting is for those who use a hopper sensor. If you do not use a hopper sensor, you should have four dash marks. If you do use a hopper sensor, you will need to use the arrow keys to change it to the word hop. Press enter once more to end the setup process.